team from the uh, Great Commission training and we're at the Kenwood Town Center today and we have some reports to give you so I'm going to start with Debbie and I'll switch the camera to Debbie. Alrighty. Hi everybody I hope you're having a good day. Today was my birthday so I prayed to the Lord that everything miracles would happen and people would be touched by me for his glory today and I believe that happened so I'm very happy with that. I met a woman named Rowanna and she had depression on her because she had just lost her aunt in the hospital. She spoke to her aunt, hung up, and then hours later her aunt passed. And I said the Lord was in that. He gave you the opportunity to talk to your loved one before she left. And then we prayed the spirit of depression leave her and then joy fill her. And I said I'd love to see your lovely smile. She had a mask. She just removed it quickly and gave me the best grin ever. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for the joy in her heart. Um, then we went over and talked to a vendor named Haman. He was born with polio, and we continue to pray for strength in his legs, and he said they are getting better, more controllable, and uh, he's happy for that, and we prayed for additional joy in his heart. He's the most joyful person I've ever seen. So thank you, Lord, for that. We prayed for another vendor who has a photo printing company, and his machine was acting up, and he blessed us, so we prayed over his equipment. The Lord can fix anything and do anything. And we said, Lord, you honor those who work and prosper his hands and bless him with a machine that will work properly and uh, be able to bless him in his work. So then we prayed for a woman with a child waiting on her husband at a telephone place and her mother-in-law who was from Peru and uh, they wanted uh, grace for them and protection of the COVID uh, because they're three generational and we prayed over that and uh, then uh, they prayed we ran into a lady with her children and uh, after we prayed for them, the daughter had just got baptized and she was so full of the Holy Spirit and just uh, thanking us for going out and praying for people. And she said she would look for the opportunity. She's homeschooled. But also the lady asked um, the mother to pray for Jerry and I for our ministry to be out here and reaching the lost. So I thought it was wonderful to have someone pray for us. And even the children prayed for us. And then we met a lady who was out of breath. And we sat by her and asked if we could get her a walker or a, a uh, wheelchair. And she said no, she just wanted the rest. So we stayed with her a little bit. We prayed for her to have strong breath and her lungs to be filled. And we prayed over that the demons and the devil cannot take one breath from her. And the Lord gives her her breaths. And that she's entitled to every breath and strength to walk to her car and get home safely. And she was very grateful and thankful for that. We ran into a custodian lady and she had so much joy in her heart and thanks to see us again and we did a quick prayer for her that that the Lord would order her steps I felt the need 
for her to have all her steps ordered in her life. I said, the Lord is working in your life and ordering your steps. And she was very grateful for that word. So we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing today and every day in our lives. And here's the headlines. <laughs> it's a good word. Carol and I, this is what, uh, what we encountered at the mall today. I'll probably talk about uh, some of the social thing a little bit, too. So we met a, a Russian pilot. You meet all kinds of people here at the yes, mall. Yes, we did. Didn't we? Yes, we did. And uh, Debbie's report was so exciting. Yes. Thank you, Debbie. That was awesome. So we met a Russian pilot. Uh, he could hardly speak any English, but he understood us. He was only going to be here for one day. And then he's going to Brussels tonight. So we asked him about Jesus. We asked him about God. And uh, we had just a, a pleasant conversation with him. Indian couple who I think uh, Debbie and Jerry encountered also. And uh, they said they were Christian. Then we met um, a guy with an infection and in his leg and he was limping and his shoulder hurt too and we prayed for him right and he said uh, thank you very much he was very grateful he felt better after we prayed then we met a guatemalan family and um carol here you want to talk about that little carol? okay uh, well i noticed that the man was digging in these pockets uh, and also in, in the lady's purse looking for coins for these children to ride in this little, um, it was like a, a, a bouncy car that went back and forth and it had on the screen a roller coaster and it was like they were riding on the roller coaster and the kids had really enjoyed the first ride and I asked them how much it was and they said a dollar and I said well it'd be all right if I bought your children a ride on the, on, on the um, uh, machine and they said yes and so we gave them the dollar and the kids were riding and here they were from Guatemala, Guatemala, no, how do you say that? Guatemala. Yes. And uh, anyway, Rosemary can speak Spanish and so they had quite a conversation in Spanish and it was just a good time in the Lord. And uh, then we uh, met someone from uh, a lady named Peggy and Peggy had all kinds of things wrong with her. I was tired, and so they were praying for a, a gentleman, and I went over, and and I noticed that, and I just needed to sit somewhere, and so I just happened to sit with her, and she was so surprised that I would come over and ask if she had need, needed prayer for anything, because she had a lot of things going on with her, so I prayed with her, and she left happy. She was a Christian, but she needed, uh, she had a spirit of infirmity working in her life. So we cast that out and uh, and prayed with her and left, and filled her with joy and peace. Amen. So we prayed for uh, the Muslim vendor here who we've, we've given him a New Testament. He said he would have questions for me, but he didn't. He didn't have questions again. So keep praying for him, <clears throat> this Muslim vendor, because God is after him. And then we met uh, Melvin, uh, who was an Amish, he was an Amish man, the vendor here, and I think Rosemary prayed for him. Um, then we met uh, a girl whose mom had blood clots. That was, oh, I don't remember her name. That was aneurysm, and that was a lady named Linda. And uh, her mother was in the hospital, and so of course she was concerned about her. So we prayed for her, and we also prayed peace over um, Linda because she needed peace in her life over well, everything that was going on with her mother. And I know we don't have to be pre present with the person to pray healing over that person and to speak healing into her life. And so that's what we did. And she left with a great big smile on her face. Amen. That's that's what I have. We'd love to see them leave with a big, big smile on their face. Uh, we prayed for a woman and daughter in a wheelchair, Mary and May. And they, uh, they were both Christians, strong Christians, and they were amening like crazy when we were praying. And they just loved that we prayed for the mom to have more strength and for their family. Uh, we prayed for Paul, who had blood platelets that were going crazy. They, they either were too much or too little. And he welcomed prayer from, about, with Jesus. And then we prayed for a, a woman in a wheelchair. And you'll see the picture of this woman. 
Um, I have to say something what happened here because this woman had come with a group of handicapped people with two social workers and the lady wanted us to pray for her and as we were praying for her and you'll see the picture of her with the helmet one of the social workers came over and removed her literally removed her from us and I asked him what are you doing she wants us to pray and he said you've got plenty of people to pray for in here why don't you just pray for somebody else well, I, I didn't, that did not sit very well with me so I followed him to the table where they were sitting and upon her approaching the other social worker came over to me and said you're in my space now I'm telling you this because I want you to understand it's not always fun at games at the mall and um, you have to know how to handle these people so she said back up you're in my space so I backed up a couple of steps because more so I backed up a couple more and then I said we just wanted to pray for her and she said you asked we're asking her inappropriate questions you know what the questions were what can we pray for you for what had this happen to you very gently and she wanted to talk but you know beloved we're in a warfare zone and um, so this girl said to me we just came out here for a nice day today and I hope you have a nice day too so please leave so what do you do you leave that's right you leave they don't want they had authority over this group we can pray on our own after which which we did and uh, I said to the man we just wanted to pray and he went you got a whole world to pray out there for and I said yes and we will and we will pray for you too and with that I walked away that was one experience now let me tell you this we very really run into that kind of an experience but I want you to hear it so that you'll know how to handle it and and what can happen we're not in Russia we're not in the Philippines we're not in China we're not in those places where you can be beheaded for sharing your faith. So, you know, if somebody just gets a little mean that day, big deal. <laughs> so then we um, prayed for, oh, this was great. After that happened to me, I got back to the table and Debbie says, Evan is waiting for you to pray for him. He he's, says, she, where is she? She's going to show up. So I said, that's it. I'm supposed to go pray for Evan. And Evan is a blessing. He just welcomes you with open arms, the opposite of the social worker people. And God knows that. He said, okay, Ursula, I'm going to send you a blessing now. And so we went over to Evan, and he, we prayed for him. His brother, who had been very debating the week before, bowed his head. He said he didn't want to be in the prayer part, but he bowed his head. And he heard these powerful prayers, and he bowed his head. So thank you, Lord, for Evan and his brother. Siri, who was the food court manager here, she was bitten by a pit bull, and um, she was happy that they're going to do something about the dog. And uh, she's going to be reimbursed for her damages to herself and her dog. So God does answer prayer, and that's basically what I'm going to say. And from the team here, Hi. Debbie, Hi. and me and Carol, we say the harvest is out there. If the fields are white unto harvest, but the laborers are few. So join Great Commission training and learn how to share your faith. God yes. bless you guys. We love you.